Hey everybody, Andy Outdoorsman here. It's been a while since I've released a video, so I figured why not uh, re-up and give you guys a little peek at what I'm up to nowadays. I've recently gotten into making my own tackle. That's lead, uh, fishing lures, you know, your spinner baits, bottom bouncers, egg sinkers, all that. So I've gotten into lead pouring. And I got into jigs recently too, and just using the regular powder paint was kind of a pain. So I wanted to make what they call a liquid bed as some of you have probably known about or know of them. So today I just wanted to make a video of making a liquid bed, show you what you need, what tools you need, and how really easy it is to use one and easy to power paint. So I'll get going, lay out all my tools, and then we'll start from there. Okay, so I got our tools and all the supplies you're gonna need. And as you can see, it's really a simple operation of what you're gonna need. So just start off with your PVC pieces. First, you're gonna want a PVC union, and that's just your three-piece union. Now I got two inch. I think two inch is a pretty good size, but if you want to go bigger, go smaller, it's all up to you. Really, this is just how to do it, idea for it. You can change your size to whatever you really want to do. Also, you're going to need your airline, and I can show you the air pump later on the video. It's just a regular, like for your fish tanks, I guess is the best way I can describe it. It's just fish tank airline to get the air to fluff up the paint. That's really what a liquid bed does. It makes the paint more of a liquid-like form, if you put it in that simple way. Also, you're going to need PVC plug and PVC pipe. Uh, my local Menards, I guess, is where I got mine. It sells about five feet of PVC pipe for four bucks. I suppose you could find scraps or something. Or again, it doesn't have to be two inch, just whatever size works for you. So you're going to have that plug there, and I'll show you where that comes in later on in this project. The main tools you'll need is your drill, multi-tool, pliers, wrench, something, scissors. Your drill bit, again, doesn't matter what size of drill bit, just get matching uh, hardware for that drill bit. And what you're gonna need is you're gonna need a brass, again, doesn't have to be brass, I just use brass. Brass valve, your fittings will come with. And I bought a connector to connect your insert piece that'll go in and pump your air. So your setup will be something like that in clean form. So I can get my first original liquid bed that I made and then piece some of these things together and I'll come back and see what's up with that so just okay so this is my first liquid bed at the end of this video I'll show you how it works but as you can see it's kind of loose still I got to do some sealing on that yet but really this is all you need here this is your union your pipe and your plug everything built together you can see my paints in there just again this is just for powder paint my valve with my air holes in it, and then this is the pump I bought. You know, you can get them from Walmart, uh, Petco, really anywhere that sells that fish like pumps. That was the 20 to 60, and it has two ends as you can see. So that's why I'm gonna use the second liquid bed as I'm making in this video. So I'll have two uh, full operating liquid beds. So first off, I'll start off by taking one union end here. And I'll just compare it to this one. So I'll take this bottom with the O-ring and I'll take one piece of PVC pipe. It really doesn't matter. What I did was I took my PVC pipe and I made it two and a quarter inches and then stuck it in here. Uh, I didn't use any glue or anything. It's a snug enough fit where you can just drill it in and then uh, put your plug on that. So that's just gonna sit just like that. Really don't need a ton of room as long as you have about that much just so long as you can fit your cap on the bottom and then your air source. Now while you have this here, we'll just set that off to the side because you're going to have to assemble another piece of it. So that'll take your other piece of PVC pipe, simply just push that in there too. And this is where your actual paint's going to sit. So again, just shove that in there, it'll be snug. Maybe twist a little bit, just get in. Like I said, I didn't use any uh, adhesive or anything for that but one more thing I forgot to say in my beginning of this video is you're gonna need paper as a filter and you're wondering what a filter is it's so your paint doesn't go directly to your air source or directly to the bottom it'll go on top of this o-ring and sit like that so the paint will be here in the cylinder that you built 
so that air can go through the paper and make the paint float, but then the paint will just go back down and filter when you turn off your air supply you're done painting. And I'd say printer paper is probably your best bet. I tried it with a few other things. Uh, I guess coffee filter is one that comes to mind. A little too thin, I guess if you can maybe doubled up or tripled up on the coffee filter, you'll be good. But I'd say printer paper is your best bet. Now also while you're sealing this uh, little air insert, as I said, I need to do some better sealing, but what I did for just right away temporary, I just used uh, silicone. I was gonna get some better sealing stuff from my local hardware store so I can seal that up better and just make it, I guess, perfect, I guess, in words. So this is just the beginning. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and wire up or fix up this hardware and I'll show you what that looks like when we're done here. So. All right, we got a fitting all uh, put together tightened down. I put the airline in too. So that's all crimped and good to go. I'll test it out. And also I drilled the hole in the bottom piece where your air is going to go. So then that's just going to go in right like this. You can fit it in. Might have to pull out just a little bit. <clears throat> to fit some of that. here and also too I may have made this uh, piece of plastic a little too short but you just want to have it so you can have room for your plug and room for your uh, airline but I have most of this in so even if it's just a little tilt because it's hitting this lip that'll be alright I guess I can come back and uh, fix that up if I want but for now it'll be good now simply this end, you're really almost done. It's really quite a simple procedure. So you'll just take this and cut a piece of paper the same width the diameter as this. So what I did was I just set that down, stenciled around it, and I just set the paper there. So that's just something simple to do. You can just do that on your own. But I'll take some silicone. I just put it on my fingers and I can just apply it easily to the fitting. Okay. So I'll just put it around the end of that fitting. Get a lot of it on there. Less air getting out. Now even if there's a little bit, the paint really doesn't take a lot of air pressure for it to rise so if you hear air I guess it's really just personal preference if you want to have it fixed or not it doesn't bother me my other one doesn't leak very much so okay that'll be set like that you can go back in the future and re uh... alright so got cleaned up from the silicone went back traced a paper circle for our filter so just place that right over it Take your top piece, set that on top, and then your piece that you'll screw down, and put that on. And don't be afraid to tighten it tight. You're going to want it tight, so then your filter is tight, so it's not sagging. It'll just all around be better, I guess. So there you go. That's actually how simple it is to be done. And I'll just plug this into the air pump. And I guess the cap too is just something I missed, but all you gotta do is you just seal it or even just put it on there depending on how tight of a fit you have. You'll plug it in, it'll raise your paint up, and just produce better looking jigs and less clumping, I guess. So these are really simple things to make, really helpful, and I'd say invest in the few dollars it takes to make one of these and uh, increase your fish and bullet, I guess you could say. But, Thanks for watching and I'll try to be more active on videos, so thank you.